All right. Hello. What's up? What's up, my quesadillas? As a young and I just wanted to be famous. Alright. Stop. Start the video. Okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright. Call me on your computer. Okay, okay. Oh, shut up, bitch. Did you guys see the new Legend of Zelda, by the way? The sequel? Breath of the Wild 2. It's gonna come out. It's in development. Today I'm going to be reading assumptions. I posted on my YouTube story, told everyone to comment assumptions about me, and this is what you guys wrote. I assume that you're ripped as f- Nah. What? Yeah. I got a picture, you <laughs> You're a liar. That you're probably a little mean. I don't know, just kind of seems like it. Yeah. No, I'm actually pretty nice. I'm literally only mean to my girlfriend, that's it. <laughs> that's it. You like your vlogs more than your girlfriend. Uh, I'm assuming that you model. If not, then you should. Thanks for all your videos. I want to, but I think I'm too ugly. Like, the modeling agencies don't want me. I sometimes assume that you're high 24-7 LMAO. I don't do that. Don't do that in Japan. You go to jail for like three years if you get caught. That's why you don't get caught. Da, 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 da. It's the one and only Stay sober or your life's over. You a playboy. I am a playboy Cardi fan. You are still together with your cute girlfriend even if you don't upload any videos about her anymore. I upload videos about her. Well, not about her, but like, I'll put her in my videos. I assume that you are actually 6'2 and not 6'8. LMAO. No, I'm actually 5'5. Five five. I'm just kind of insecure about my height, so. I say I'm 6'8 just so, just so uh, all the girls think I'm cool. It only matters if I think you're cool. Every other girl kid. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Just my assumption, you moved to Japan for the ladies. I moved here to follow my dreams. I kind of think that you're more of a softy IRL. Yes. Yeah. No, you just want me to be. No, not really. I'm kind of like, yeah, not really affectionate or anything. You have a skincare routine. Yeah, every night before bed, I usually take a pizza slice, just rub it on my face, and just sleep face down in the pillow. That gets me like a real good looking. You kinky as f uh, I am pretty kinky. I love ass and titties, what can I say? Alright. I have so many boobs. You got boobs? I mean, they're small, but they're boobs. They're boobs. You're just very cute, like a real life anime person. You're like an anime girl. I got the That you were a fuckboy, but a hot one. Honestly, every dude's kind of a fuckboy. I really think. good girlfriend. Yeah, pretty much. I was a polite fuckboy though. I low key feel like you're the type of person to just start talking to some random person that you see on the street. Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. I assume that you're a surfer or beach boy. I am from the Bay Area. Back in Monterey, that was my, my beach town. Monterey, California, specifically Pacific Grove, specifically Pacific Grove. Ooh. You're not the sharpest out of your group of friends. You talk with a slur and your eyes move slowly. Are you sure about that? Honestly, I'm not that smart, but that's why I hang out with smart people. That you've changed and become a different person entirely since I've subscribed nearly a year ago question what caused you to become just another typical fuck boy what happened to the quirky k you used to be will you ever change back so if i know if i should subscribe or not smiley face let me see myself a year ago hold up this is me last year thornton Thor thornton i don't know it's a place in denver but i'm here for a pretty big swim meet a pretty fat swim meet it's called state it's like the last swim meet of the swim season as most of you guys know i don't know i definitely have changed over time but i'm still me the funny part is though i used to be a fuck boy now i'm not a fuck boy what happened to the quirky k you used to be um i'm still quirky <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm a quirky. It's just the thing is, I grew up with YouTube. Like, I've been making YouTube videos since I was 12. My whole channel so far has just been me going through puberty. So, yeah, I changed, I guess. I guess not for the better. I guess I'm not quirky anymore. I think I will change 
but I don't think I'll ever change back. So yes, you should probably unsubscribe. You're into Latinas. I actually really like Latinas. I like this Latina specifically, but I don't know. Latinas just got that spice. Tacos are my favorite food. I just love Mexican food. Like Latinas are just... It's just kind of hot. I like my girlfriend though because she looks just a little different. She looks like an exotic Mexican. A little bit more chinky looking eyes. It's like Native American eyes. I don't know. She's like <laughs> small and like skinny and stuff. I don't know. She just got like that Asian cuteness with the Latina spice. With the big lips and the curly hair and stuff like that. Just any like West Coast ratchet Latina. I probably couldn't deal with that. They're hot but like I wouldn't cuff them you know. I love you. You're very laid back and don't like conflict. You have some deep insecurities that you need to work out. Yeah, I'm pretty laid back. I don't like conflict. I think that's that Japanese side. I avoid conflict, but when it does happen, I enjoy the ride. Drama is always fun. I don't know, it just makes your life like a TV show. I feel like it's, it's fun. I don't know. But yeah, I, I also do have some deep insecurities, specifically my eczema. That's why I wear long sleeves all the time because I got eczema and, and I'm really insecure about it. Yeah, that's why I, I'm, my confidence is real low and... I just can't get bitches. Cause, cause my ex First of all, your confidence is not low. Second of all, you can't get other girls because you have a girlfriend. I assume that you're going through a rough patch right now, but I just want to say it's going to be alright because you're awesome and funny and talented and just a wonderful person all around. Stay motivated, King. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You were popular in your school. Nah, I was like not popular at all. Every day, I would just walk through the hallways with my headphones in, just listening to music. Like I'd always be like bopping my head while I'm walking through the hallway and just go to each class, go home. The only reason I was popular in every school I went to is because I always danced, but I never played up to the, to the popular kids, you know? I was a lone wolf. I was always a lone wolf. I'm still a lone wolf. Ooh. I mean, I got a, a nice she wolf with me, but like, I'm a lone wolf. Assumption that I got, you are apparently a cool dude type on videos, but not for real, more like a shy dude in real life. I honestly don't know. I really don't know. Sometimes I'm like this, sometimes I'm like this. Sometimes I'm real outgoing, but sometimes I'm I'm just real, real chill, you know, I'm not, I'm never shy, but like, if I am shy, it's because I'm trying to be cute. Sometimes it's like a good thing to be shy, you know, you could be like, you could be like shy and awkward and girls will think it's cute, you know? Oh. Hi. <laughs> Sometimes I am a little shy, but I don't know why I'm shy. I don't know. I get this vibe. You aren't very interested in politics or social issues. Now, not really politics or anything because I just feel like there's so much shit, so much sides to everything. I'm just not smart enough to, to know what's best for everyone, you know? I'm just kind of dumb, honestly. I'll just focus on entertaining people. That's what I do best. You are not the type to fall in love at first sight, not having a crush. I mean, really falling in love like, ooh, ooh butterflies working hard down there. Are you? What the f*** are you saying? Okay, you are not the type to fall in love at first sight. Yeah, I'm really not. Um, a lot of my crushes have kind of been like a friend and then I start to like them more and more. In fact, my girlfriend is the only girl where it was like, yeah, love at first sight. Okay. Uh, you got a big D. I can't lie. I do have a pretty well endowed diaphragm. You wear the pants in the relationship. I mean, we both wear pants, but like, I guess I usually wear bigger pants cause I got, I wear bigger size pants, so I guess. I guess I wear the pants in the relationship. You like the attention from fangirls because of your glow up. What do you mean glow up? I was always cute. I never had a glow up. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, what, what do you mean glow up? When's the glow up? It was November 21st, 1999. Love to party? Like an active life? Nah, surprisingly, I don't like to party. People think I like clubbing and partying and all that, but like, honestly, I'm not that into it. I just show it when I do, so people think I do it a lot, but I don't. I assume you never really dated until you met your girl. Honestly, the relationship I have right now is the first like real relationship I had. You're being fake. awkward if being with someone that is not really close to you i'm never awkward i don't think anything's awkward like i just take everything for what it is i feel like if you think things are awkward or if you think things are cringy then you're awkward or cringy that just means you're awkward so you can't handle awkward situations so anything slightly awkward that happens you're just like oh my god that was so awkward that was that was so cringe Qu cringe 
awkward. No, I don't think anything's awkward. The only time something was actually awkward was when I accidentally called a girl by another girl's name. That was pretty awkward. Oops. Huh? Who? Remember I called <laughs> Oh. <laughs> that is awkward. This isn't an assumption, but why do you treat your girlfriend coldly? Honestly, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. Seriously. I'm not close with anyone enough to be mean to them. Like, I'm nice to everyone. Like, I'm nice, I'm very passive, I'm very chill with everyone. So because Chelly gets more than that, it's a privilege, seriously. She gets a side that no one else gets. Yeah. <laughs> this is my favorite one. You have no idea what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but whatever it is, I'm putting 100% in. You don't have a type. <laughs> Assumption, you're a soft boy. He doesn't mind. <laughs> no, I'm not. No, no, I'm You would never cheat on your girlfriend because you're loyal. Yes. Yes. <laughs> when I look at your dead stare, I realize you have no soul. And then when you talk, I realize I was right about you not having a soul because you're a robot programmed to say what the algorithm determines is hip and cool with the kids. Honestly though, I had the same thought the other day. I was looking in the mirror. I was looking myself in the eyes and I realized I have no soul. There's certain people I would see like on TV or like YouTube or whatever. I don't know. But certain people in life, I don't know. They just look like they have no soul. Just the way their eyes look. But I realized I have that too. Like... When I look at myself, like, I don't see a soul. I'm serious. You're not a I'm not a shoe. I don't have a soul. <laughs> you don't get embarrassed. I don't get embarrassed. Care too much about looks. Yes. But it's your fault. It's your fault. I kind of understand why pretty girls are the most insecure. Or like the most like I don't know like self-conscious about their looks because like I never had girls liking me or anything or like people saying anything about my looks until I was like 14 and I went to Japanese middle school and all the Japanese girls would say I'm kawaii and I'm cute and stuff and from that point I felt like I don't know I guess I felt like I had to like keep it up or something like I wanted to look good because they kept calling me cute then I started thinking about it and then as I grew older a little bit I was getting a lot of comments on my channel about my looks and everything and just all that just made me, just made me care. If I was like a normal, any other guy YouTuber that doesn't get, you know, comments about their looks, I wouldn't really care. I think it's just because I got, I had a lot of girl subscribers for some reason, and then they all just, all just thought I was cute, so I just, I felt like I have to be cute. But at this point, though, I don't care. I think 17, 17 is when I was like really, is when I really thought about my looks a lot. Now I'm like, I don't know. I got a girlfriend, so I just don't really care as much. Like, I can get fat now, I can be ugly. Like, I, I feel like I'm chilling, you know? I got a girlfriend. <laughs> you know? Oh my god. But, you had three girlfriends in the past. I had Uno. This is my dose. And the last girlfriend. And the last girlfriend, yes. You feel that you are cool, but guess what? No, you are not. What happened the old K videos? Nothing happened to them. They're back there. They're, they're still on my channel. You can go check it out. You know that a lot of people think of you as the fuckboy type and you try not to live up to that. It's funny because when people thought I was like some sweet, innocent boy, that's when I was prime fuckboy. But now everyone thinks I'm a fuckboy and I'm not a fuckboy. Yeah, I don't even know. You never thought you'd end up with a Mexican. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I did. I think I thought I'd end up with like, like a European girl or something. I don't know. Maybe an Asian, maybe a Japanese girl, maybe like British, I don't know. You did not. No, no, not like that. No, back then I thought, back then I kind of thought I'd end up with a British, just for some reason, just cause the accent and stuff, I don't know, I liked it. But then like now, I'm like, Mexicans, but I always liked Mexicans though. I just never thought I'd, I'd ever like get this close to one and, and cuff her. Gucci bag. I personally prefer Gucci bags. You don't like Asian girls. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't. I don't like Asian girls. Asian girls just know what's up. Actually, no. But a lot of like American Asian girls, they don't know what's up. 
But like Asian Asian girls, they know what's up. You know you're hot and you use your attractiveness like a superpower. That's an interesting way to put it. I think it's just confidence. It's just confidence. Like before, I didn't know I was hot. And that's like cute in a way. Like that's cute. Like I don't know I'm hot. I'm like this. But if you know you're hot, it's just a different kind of vibe. It's that confidence and you could get what you want. All right, that was fun. I'm gonna end it here though. Maybe you learned a little bit more about me. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe and click the little ding dong to know when I upload. And I like Latinas. Shall we?